bibliophile. Noun. One who is attracted to intelligence. Join us, fellow fun-loving lover of knowledge, as we dig into your favorite topics with our very own nerdy diatribes, words of wisdom, and takes on life as millennials. Welcome to the Sapio Files. Hi, Chelsea. Hi. I am in Cortland, New York. Um, I'm I've still been in New a- Jersey, where I always am. <laughs> I-, I was in Virginia earlier this week, so it was a toss-up whether or not this podcast would be recorded from Virginia or New York. Yeah. But um, back in the northern part of the eastern part of the United States. Yeah. And so it is almost October now, and um, it's officially fall. It so. Is. Chelsea and I figured that this week could be a cool week to touch upon a few of our favorite and I guess not so favorite fall subjects or some discussions that sometimes, you know, make us happy and some that make us kind of frown and go, why, why? So I'm going to start with one question and just pose it to you. And then our listeners can always post on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and tell us what they think. But So I was thinking today that, and I apologize for the profanity, but it's what people say. So I'm just going to use the term that people use. So if there are any children listening, I apologize for using this, but I'm only using it because it's so commonly used for this particular scenario. So I want to talk about the term basic bitch Mm -hmm. and how I think it's ridiculous and I was thinking about this as I was working out today in SUNY Cortland's beautiful gym, by the way, but I digress. I was thinking about how the term basic or basic bitch only really applies to women Mm -hmm. and it applies to women when we enjoy certain things that may be holiday appropriate or generally seasonal or I guess stereotypically seasonal, like for example, I love pumpkin spice beer and pumpkin spice candles and lattes in the fall. I also love to go apple picking and I love to make pies and I love looking at the foliage. I like going on hikes in the fall because of the cool, crisp air and all these things would kind of be considered, I guess people could say that I'm being basic. Mm -hmm. But then I was thinking that there's no male version of this. For example, when when a man decides that he wants to drink a Sam Adams Oktoberfest while tailgating and checking his fantasy league, that's that's there's no like basic bro. When really those things are just as stereotypically fall. They are as pumpkin picking, apple picking, pie making, hiking. So I'm just confused, and I'm not saying that either should be called basic. I like football games as well, and I know a lot of guys that like pumpkin spice coffee and pumpkin beer. So I'm not saying that you should start calling dudes basic bros. It's just stupid. <laughs> I'm saying that you should stop calling girls basic bitches for liking things that just are fun things for the season. They are. And and stop being hypocrites. Another thing so, about that is, okay, Uggs are basic, pumpkin spice lattes are basic, ba- um, you know, scarves. Okay, let's call those things all basic. Those are fall. But yeah. what about... Um, Bathing suits, sundresses, watermelon, lemonade, um, ice cream. Nobody gets on people about summer stuff. No, and why and fall honestly, stuff? Why, why fall stuff? Why? Or they just I picked mean, a season going, to hate on. Uh, they did. Uh, in, I mean, even taking Christmas, for example, then I know that people say that it's hilarious that I'm as obsessed with Hallmark Christmas movies as I am. But you don't hear people saying, oh, look at her eating that candy cane while wearing red. She's so basic. They don't do that. It's just for fall. So what is the matter with people in fall? Or in the other seasons, I mean, like the rest of the winter, not like yeah. after the holiday season. Oh, well, she has a big fluffy scarf and she made a big pot of soup. And, you know, she has a fireplace. Those aren't, nobody says that. She went skiing. Like th- those aren't. Basic winter, yeah, or we're like not basic. The- it's freezing, Steve. And the fact that honestly, the fact that people mock 
the basic love of pumpkin more than they mocked the unicorn frappuccino <laughs> is just so startling to me. This is I true. don't understand. Well, you know, you I know how understand. the saying goes, right? How does the saying go, Chelsea? If you look into a mirror and say pumpkin spice three times, a white girl shows up in yoga pants and Uggs and tells you all the good things about fall. You know? Have you heard that one? I, that probably was why I was whooshed away to a mirror in California this week. Oh. I mean. Were you wearing yoga I, pants and Uggs? I, I, I was wearing yoga pants and I was drinking a shipyard pumpkin head. So I was like, wow, how did I get to San Diego? And then I saw this bro with his, you know, football jersey and October fest, and I was like, "Oh, you must have said pumpkin spice in the mirror." <laughs> so yeah, so I mean, there are things to love about every season, and yeah. this year I find myself getting more and more into the fall stuff. Now, I never disliked fall. I've always been a like spring and summer person, and mm-hmm. I think I, you know, and I've been open with people on this podcast before about this part of my life, I think that one of the reasons that I was more a spring and summer person than a fall person was that I have had issues in the winter with worsening depression, which is a very common condition. Many people are affected by the seasons. So Mm -hmm. for many years, that's been difficult for me. In the past year or so, I mean, well, knock on wood, but like last winter, I made it through and didn't really get more depressed. So that made me less afraid of fall, which I I like, but it felt like an omen for winter. So it's like, uh-oh, right. the temperature dropped. Winter is coming. Um, <laughs> but this year I'm finding myself loving more things about fall. And, you know, if you are someone who is in that boat that I was in for quite a while, if you are somebody who maybe as soon as the temperature drops, you feel a little more depressed – Maybe some of the things we talk about can be things that you learn to embrace. Don't be afraid of being quote unquote basic and enjoying the good things that every season brings you. I love that, Chelsea. And and honestly, don't be afraid to be a little what they say basic. Mm-hmm. And even if they call you that, you cannot tell me that they do not enjoy a good cinnamon and nutmeg flavoring in something or a nice spiced candle. Bros or lion, if they're calling you basic. I have they I have my it. scented candles but, here right now. There, I've I have no, three fall scented candles. Nobody walks into a room and it's like this smells wonderful. Oh my god, I hate you! Like, come on. No, come on. But but like Chelsea was saying, in all seriousness, like don't be afraid to embrace the things that other people might say are stereotypical about the seasons. They're stereotypical for a reason, because people enjoy them. They enjoy doing them together, going apple picking with your friends, carving a jack-o'-lantern, even though taking the inside of a pumpkin is disgusting, but kind of feels like what I picture brains feeling like. Mm. Um, but the pumpkin's anyways, delicious. Like, yeah. Dress up and like dress up in not Slutoween, but dress <laughs> up in a nice Halloween costume and, you know, give candy out to trick or treaters. If you want to Slutoween at another time, go for it. It's not my thing. But anyways. Just do the fun fall things and do the fun winter things and the spring things and the summer things. Just do anything that makes you happy, I think, is what you're getting at. Absolutely. Like, and I think that, you know, summer things have the least amount of bad connotation with them. And maybe that has something to do with, you know, obviously the whole seasonal effective thing is a chemical thing and does have to do with the sunlight and how much serotonin you have. Yes, I see it, Kayla. As I'm talking, she in the camera is turning a, a shipyard pumpkin head around and like pushing it towards the camera so I can see it and smiling. So she is drinking a pumpkin head. I'm saying, okay, so obviously seasonal effective is a chemical thing, but I wonder if the reason people feel happiest in summer is also amplified by the fact that it's okay to be like, woohoo, summer. And there's no stigma attached to it. You can have, like, your beach towel and your, like, red, white, and blue 4th of July t-shirt. And, you know, you can have, like, your bathing suits and your ice cream cones. And nobody has an issue with summer. But suddenly the temperature drops and everybody hates on fall. I like apples. I like pumpkins. I like crunchy leaves. You know, nice smells. I I like all of those things. Boots. I like all the comfort foods the comfort foods come back in full force in in the fall i actually was really excited 
because last weekend on Sunday, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, it's fall now. So it's safe to take out my crock pots and make a bunch of soups that I can put in little containers. So I always have good food to take to work. And for some reason, like in the summer, like making a lot of soup doesn't feel right. <laughs> That's true. But I made a lot of soup and I'm like really happy about it. I'm happy that you're happy about your soup. But I, I get what you mean. Sometimes like I think any cooking in the summer is just It's hard to so, cook in the summer. Because it's so hot outside already mm-hmm. that you're just like, do I want to make myself warmer by standing over insert stove, oven, grill, etc. Like And I actually find that I end up getting takeout much more often in the summer. I think for that reason which is bad for my waistline, bad for my finances, just not a good thing to do. Yeah. And, and can I just say like, just so listeners know that besides the quote unquote basic girl things that I like about fall, I also love that it's the best running weather. Mm -hmm. It's the best hiking weather. I also like football season Mm -hmm. and the end of baseball season. Don't forget baseball. Baseball is great. And baseball goes into November. And I love tailgating and having someone grill me a burger on a tiny grill outside their car. That's so much fun. So I'm not dissing any of those things at all. I'm just saying, like, where's the balance, guys? Mm -hmm. Where's the balance? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I don't know. Has been here since, I don't know. Has there ever been a balance? No. (laughs) No. But what I have loved about a lot of my friends is that, I mean, I know I do it. People will say, like, oh, Kayla, you're being so basic. I'm like... Hell yeah, I am. I'm proud of it. Like, and people are like owning it, which I love. Mm -hmm. So. Why is getting a latte, quote unquote, basic? It's caffeine. And, and also when you call a woman that, why, like, you're basically putting her into one category. You're like, you are a basic girl. You're a basic, you know, basic bitch. I hate that. But that's, you know, I've been called it a couple of times. Me too. Seriously, like I'm also It's a bit a, sexist. I'm also a published author who builds houses in Guatemala. I'm training for a marathon and I love craft beer. So okay. I like pumpkin spice and all of a sudden I'm I'm in this like category. Like I've literally worked my entire life to not be in a category and you're putting me in a category just because I like pumpkin spice. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. I can see you're fired up. <laughs> yeah. Think about what it actually means when you're saying that because Women, like all people, are complex. And all right, you may run into, you may run into some woman somewhere who is pretty simple minded. And those are really like the only things that she thinks about, but it's few and far between. Mm -hmm. Most women that you're calling basic probably are not these simple minded little girls. They are complex women who found things that make them happy and embrace those things. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like, you know, that's a language thing that maybe we should try to take out of our lexicon. Ah, yes, I agree. And I I also love that you're the clear voice of reason in this podcast. And I'm just like the Godzilla. Like, I feel like like the term basic bitch is Tokyo and I'm just Godzilla-ing it right now. And you're like, guys, it's okay. Godzilla, calm down. Tokyo is not, is really a good place yeah. in, in reality. You don't have to tear down Tokyo. In re- and it's true. Tokyo is a great place. Great karaoke too. Well, also, even the, the fact that when you tried to come up with a male alternative, you said basic bro. I know. I, bro I, I is very different. A- that it's not basic girl. Why do we call it basic bitch? Why is it? Yeah. Why that word? And I feel like that word should be reserved only for that type of behavior. Not just, oh, well, you're a girl, so I'm going to call you that. If someone is being awful to you, sure, you can use that word. But only when they're being like that. So I guess, yeah, the the male equivalent would probably be basic bastard. Yeah. But even that is a word that came out of a different culture that doesn't necessarily mean the same thing. Yes. It it means someone who's an illegitimate child of someone, Mm -hmm. but I feel like it's almost no, it's no fault of their own that they're like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whereas bitch 
it, it's putting the blame on the woman yeah that she, she's acting that way so you're absolutely right mm -hmm. and i don't understand that that word just needs people use that word too freely and they're forgetting what it means like mm -hmm. and absolutely and i i know that a lot of people are probably listening to this and saying kayla you know you you may run spartan races but you're a marshmallow and yes i i am kind of a marshmallow inside but i'm not a snowflake nope and i'm not saying that i'm insulted 100 percent of the time by this i'm just saying that come up with more clever things guys because this is really really just it's just unintelligent behavior mm -hmm. and why are you trying to tear a group of people down for liking something that's delicious or for enjoying something that they you know genuinely enjoy mm -hmm. are you telling me you don't like when we wear nice scarves and sweaters you do so like come on I love scarves. Yeah. Me too. They're so they keep comfy and warm, warm and cute and yeah. they're great. And anybody that sees us skiing down a mountain could never call us basic. Oh no. Well, we not even just ass. skiing. Just yeah. with anything that we do in life. You, me, yeah. and a lot of other women that we know mm -hmm. are very well rounded people who mm -hmm. have a lot of different interests. Some may be mainstream, some may not be, but have a lot of intellect and a lot of drive and those things make the whole person. So I think it's detrimental to the psyche of the culture and of individual people when we continually put people down for liking things. Mm -hmm. You're not liking something dangerous. You, it's, you like pumpkin. <laughs> You like apples. Yeah. What's what's wrong with apples? Nothing. They make delicious pies, too. They do. So does pumpkin. Mm-hmm. We make the best sugar-free pumpkin pie. We do. We are great at it. Listeners, the secret is maple syrup, not pancake syrup that is corn syrup. Maple syrup from a maple tree. Like a happy it has to be real maple syrup. And when I say real, because I know that this has been questioned by people that have served me at restaurants, I don't mean in existence maple syrup. <laughs> I mean real as in like... Came from a maple they tree. They tapped the tree. They tapped the tree. They like boiled the tree sap down into like the delicious maple sugar that exists naturally in, naturally in nature. That's redundant, but you know what I mean. So like it came from nature. That is where the sugar came from. So we use pure maple syrup and honey if you use maple our... syrup and honey instead of sugar not only is it healthier for you and better for those of you who have like sugar intolerances but it tastes better i don't understand why people ever made pumpkin pie with white sugar i mean maple syrup just has this rich it's taste to it that better flavor it, it's so good it, it's so good <laughs> Guys, we're serious. <laughs> guys. But guys. So now that we're not afraid to be called basic, what are our favorite things about fall? Ooh, um, do you want to go back and forth? Sure. Pumpkin beer. Pumpkin I love pumpkin beer. beer. Okay. I love it. The colors that are suddenly in nature that never were before in any other time in the year. How crisp and clear the air is, and it makes it really easy to run and really nice to hike and smell all the the leaves changing you can like there's a certain smell to nature that is fall comfort food apple picking and candy apples mm. i love caramel apples. the fact that you get to wear boots the fact that you get to wear flannel and jeans yeah it's a good one mm -hmm. well we said scarves earlier they're so comfy and i wear them all winter too it's not just fall this might be a personal one but i really really love fall colors and you kind of mentioned that with the leaves mm -hmm. And the foliage, but I just, I like wearing fall colors, like browns and oranges and reds and yellows and yeah. just that whole color palette that is associated with fall. I think it's really cool. It's fun. It's great. And it's nice and warm. All the colors are warm. It makes you feel at home. It's a good color palette. That color palette fits you better yeah. than it fits me. I can't quite pull off the, off the yellow and orange the way you can. I can do red. I can't pull off pastels the way you can, buddy. Yeah, I can pull off some pastels. Not all of the pastels, but like a light blue. Very nice. I mm -hmm. also do like jewel tones. Ah, uh, yes. Like the bright blue, green, red. Yeah. What else do I love? Halloween. I love Halloween. Yeah, I I like 
the traditions, like the legitimate like traditions around Halloween, like going back to like to the Celts, so the, the Celtic people and everything, and uh, Saman, and like how it goes back to trying to just keep the bad spirits away. Like that's what jack lanterns were made for. They were like meant to scare away evil spirits, which I think is so cool. Um, like I just love the history. I love the history behind fall and Halloween. I do too. And the thing that's cool about Halloween is it's All Souls Day. Mm-hmm. Which is right before All Saints Day. Mm-hmm. And that is theoretically when the souls of the dead come back and are among us, which is kind of a creepy thing, and that's where we get Halloween. And that's why in Ireland, because Originally, jack-o'-lanterns were carved in what we consider gourds okay. or squash. The little ones, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and they were meant, because they believed that the spirits of the dead were walking among them, the jack-o'-lanterns were meant to keep away the evil spirits, but not deter any good spirits. Very cool. What else didn't we say about fall? Oh, I like false scents. Yeah. The, um, I like The pumpkin, the cinnamon, the apple, the... Um, the maple. Right now I have three candles going. I have a pumpkin, I have um, an almond caramel, and I have a maple. Mm-hmm. I love fall sports. Mm. Like, I love and everything associated with them. Like, I love tailgating, and I love, like, the fall sports parties, whether it be for baseball season or the beginning of hockey season or, of course, football season. Um, and I love how um, excited schools get about football games, like high schools, and like how it unites towns in a way it doesn't. You know, that, that just doesn't happen in other parts of the year. I love. I remember that. high school football. It was fun. Yeah, it was definitely fun to be at those games. I'm trying to think, I feel like I had another thing on the tip of my tongue that I love about fall. I love a lot about fall. Mm-hmm. Well, fall's oh, always been your favorite. Yeah, like like bonfire nights mm. and the fact that you can have like when you have a campfire in the fall. It's I mean a campfire in the summer is great. But in the fall, it's like actually you're you're being warmed by the fire too because it's so chilly outside. Mm-hmm. I I love that. Yeah, and I mean to be fair, I do like the first half of fall better than the second half when it's not so chilly. When it's just like that nice mm-hmm. little bit of a nip, but it's still warm enough that you're not shivering. Yeah, I love turkey trot races. I love how people are like, let's run a 10k so I don't feel as bad about eating so much turkey. I love that. Mm-hmm. By the way, I'm gonna. I'm going to do one in Princeton, just warning you, okay. Thursday morning. We could do okay. that. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, for those of you that don't know, I go to New Jersey for Thanksgiving. I do Jersey Thanksgiving. We have Thanksgiving here. It is fantastic. It's awesome. Um, but, on Thanksgiving morning, yeah, you're doing it? Yeah, okay. in Princeton. Um, but I just love the fact that people are like, I'm about to eat a ton of food. Let's run. Like, I, I love that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and zombie runs. Like, I'm doing a zombie run right before Halloween. Love it. So, everybody, how could you not love all this stuff? Don't understand. I guess maybe the takeaway of this is let's not judge people for what they like. Mm -hmm. And let's not make it define them in such a way. And when we don't make it define them, we can actually enjoy the positive things. And, you know, fall is not the only part of the year that has positive things. We just haven't mentioned it before now because nobody has an issue with people loving summer. And nobody has an no. issue with people loving spring. So when we hit fall, it's like, ooh, I love this, but people have an issue with it. Let's talk about why. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure why it got assigned to fall. Do you have any thoughts on, like, why basic got assigned to fall? I honestly do. Okay. Okay. So I feel like summer has a lot um, of big points. I'm not saying like, I mean, fall of course has Thanksgiving and Halloween, but I feel like summer has a lot of like big, big points. Like it's like the end of school, we have 4th of July, we have Memorial Day weekend. There's like all sorts of like, you know, pool parties, ocean, everything. So a lot of marketing is centered around those things. Mm -hmm. Same thing with winter. A lot of marketing centered around Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, just the holiday season, giving, all of that, New Year's Eve. Whereas fall, I think that the reason that people dis have been so adamant about calling people basic during the fall is that every single (laughs) coffee shop, company, et cetera, 
like markets the hell out of pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. Like to the point that I just, I just um, looked at a comic on the oatmeal and it was like someone opening their laptop computer and just getting pummeled by pumpkins. And it's true. I think the media really does like smash it in our faces. And I think because of that, people get annoyed with it for the same reason as people get annoyed with Christmas music yeah. when it's played too often. But I think that because there's a group of people that have such a love for these fall things. It's easy to take out their, like, and I'm not saying they're doing this consciously, but unconsciously when the media is like pounding you, like pumpkin this, pumpkin that. And then there's like this like nice sweet girl that goes to school with you. Who's like, I just love my pumpkin. And you're like, no, like, I, just, <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's how it started. Probably. Yeah. I, I, I think you're right that the most comparable other time of year is the Christmas thing. Because people get, yeah. people do get a little annoyed if you're too much of like an elf. Hey, Chelsea, who do you know that's too much of like an ha, elf? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I am, guys. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. So one fun fact about when I lived with Kayla, our cable package did not <laughs> get Hallmark. We had to pay extra for Hallmark because Kayla needed her Christmas Hallmark movies. I, I I did I do I agree there I agree they're very fun and I enjoy them as well, but I just you love Christmas and you love fall. I do I and I love honestly I think I just get really excited about little things like I I get so joyful over things that people find very simple, like like the other day when Chelsea got me a bag of things that I wasn't allergic to and she she me up. A pineapple bag because my allergy to pineapple went away I was like so psyched like I have that bag in, in the hotel bathroom right now it's carrying all my toiletries because I love that stinking bag because I'm so psyched about not being allergic to pineapple but I feel like I like penguin and get really excited about a lot of little things mm -hmm. and I feel like just fall and Christmas have a lot of those little things <laughs> that I get excited about they do I don't know you are that type more so more so than I am, although I enjoy this this year. I feel like I'm I'm pretty pumped for fall. I don't yeah. always. It depends on the year, I guess. But um, yeah, I think that that's you know it's it's good to enjoy things and it's good to you know have those little things that make you happy. Oh, I should. This is what I wanted to say. I should mention to the audience that she said she penguins, and a oh, lot of yeah, people sorry. don't know what that means. That means for Kayla that she like waves her hands back and forth like like a penguin's flippers when she's excited. I'm sure if you know me, you've seen it. And even if you haven't like actually like observed it or like made a mental note of it, the next time you see me, you will notice it. Because I penguin over things like when I was in Connecticut, Cameron got me a six pack of pumpkin beer and I was like, Kayla and my penguin. Mm -hmm. Or like or... You penguin a lot. Yeah, I do. Or when they told me at the fair that it was free Starbucks coffee, I penguined. Or when when I got to Cortland and they told me they gave me a gym pass for tonight, I penguined. Like, I, it's like little, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I just, I think that life is so dismal sometimes and people just focus so much on the negative that I like to take, I like to be joyful about like even the littlest things that happen to me. Because it all could be gone in a second. And I just, I, I don't know. I'm just me. And I'm really happy to be me. There's nobody else like me. And I'm really happy you're you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. And that's a good way to be. Yeah. So what do we think for people who are not fall lovers? Mm -hmm. What do you think is a good starting place to have something to be happy about this season? Because I think you're right. Like summer has some big things. Winter has some big things. What is something that people can like as a starting point if you're not like, woohoo, pumpkin spice? What can okay. you be excited about um, in the fall? Make it a happy time. Woohoo, all the TV shows are back. Yes, um, absolutely. Like, That's a great one. Uh, thank you. Um, I know for me, I'm I'm on the road a lot during the fall. Um, so one thing I try to do is I try to read as many books as I can. Because I feel like as a default, I tend to do a lot of like TV watching, which is great. I mean, there's a lot of television programs on right now that are great. It's actually surpassing the movie business, mm -hmm. but don't tell the movie business. Um, but I try to do like, this is the fall of, I read this many books. So like, maybe make it like your season of goals. 
like I, I know that everybody tends to do like let's do a new year's resolution and then it craps the bed because new year's resolutions tend to craft the bed because yeah we, we make them when we're drunk on champagne let's be real guys that's when it happens but like so maybe you make fall your thing like you know what this this fall i'm going to do this because fall is like there's just it's a very i don't want to say like neutral season but it's not wicked wicked hot and in the early fall you're not in like bitter cold yet if you're a new englander or northeastern united states sinner states or i don't, I don't know. know from the sure. northeastern united states yes but, but yeah but for me like I make it like this is when you're going to dedicate yourself to starting to get back into better shape again because you have to ski. Yeah. Or, you know, this is when you're going to read your books. This is when your fall shows come back. This is when, like, make it a make it some type of thing that, you know, make a goal for yourself that you actually enjoy. I, so, I like that. I like that doing the New Year's resolution when it's, like, the new school year, even if you're not in school. Yeah. Because you're right. You're in a part of the year where there is enough warmth still enough light still I mean the mm -hmm. days are getting shorter but there's still enough warmth and light and energy that, so that you can kind of carry like if you're a summer person you can kind of carry that in and mm -hmm. it helps you get organized and set for if you are somebody who has a hard time with the colder and darker weather so get, getting right. yourself set up, making new goals for yourself. It, it does feel more like a beginning of a year to me than, than the actual beginning of the year. And maybe that's because um, I'm in education, so I'm conscious of the school year all the time. Although mm -hmm. this year, I mean, I work in a 12-month position, so there's still a beginning of the school year. But it's, it's just a very it's – a, it's a reset kind of conscious thing. Um, so I think that that's – that's a good way to do it. You know, put your, put your goals in the forefront this time of year. Or, I mean, even, even as something as simple as two other things, um, I know that this is like the beginning, obviously the end of fall season is Thanksgiving and it kind of transitions into the, the Christmas Kwanzaa Hanukkah holidays. Um, but I think a lot of this season, you, you could center it around like giving back. So if you do feel like you're in a slump, I know one thing that always helps me is doing things for others. Um, mm. Whether that is, you know, passing by the person who's always on the corner of your office building, who always looks cold and giving them a hot chocolate one day or like volunteering in some capacity. Like that's, I know it sounds really simple and maybe overly altruistic and maybe a little naive, but I, I think that, some of the best ideas are born because someone who's a little naive has a good dream and then decides to do more research and attack it. So like, I, I don't know, that's my second idea. And I guess the third one I have is just like all these things that people are, you know, <laughs> that I guess people are making you annoyed about are because they love fall so much. So find something you love and do it. Like, I don't care if it's fall, find something you love. Yeah. Like embrace your passions. Yeah, who cares if you you might be the world's biggest supporter of pomegranates? So <laughs> make make some like cool alcoholic beverages and cocktails with pomegranates and share them with your friends. Or like you know like find something you love and do it during that season. No one says you have to like exactly what everybody else likes. Mm -hmm. I watch Christmas movies whenever I'm sad, and when I say that, I mean whenever. Oh, I'm she sad. does, Chelsea. Chelsea, tell me what, what months you've seen Christmas movies in the Netflix too. Um, July, mm -hmm. March, yep. May. If you don't say every month, if you don't say every month, you're lying and you're September, being too nice to me. And then consistently from Halloween on. Yeah. So, and honestly, like, I don't care if people think it's weird. I am a little weird. I don't know. Just do what you love. Who cares what people think about it? <laughs> this turned into like this like motivational speech. This is Kayla's like, there's so much happiness in the world, guys. Be the light. There is. You should. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing Thanks. I really like in the fall, and it doesn't have to just be in the fall, but I feel like I tend to associate it with the fall, is wineries. Yes. And breweries and distilleries. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a great thing if you're not like gung ho pineapple, not well, gung ho pumpkin spice. You got pineapple in my brain. 
If you're not gung ho pumpkin spice, then breweries, wineries, distilleries, that's a fun fall activity that can mm-hmm. kind of get you motivated. You know, I get how as the weather starts to get colder, you might want to just like curl up inside, but getting yourself to enjoy all the parts of the year is worth it. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. I, I think that this is probably going to be one of our, our funniest, but also one of our most relatable podcasts. I, I think I we feel... have a lot of fun and funny and relatable ones, but we also have some like weird intellectual fun fact. Here's a research study one. So this is a little less intellectual, a little more fun, but you know, we are the sapiophiles. We are kind of into the intellectual pursuits, but you can't be just an intellectual person you have to be a well-rounded person and Mm -hmm. you can use that intelligence to find happiness in things and to find fun activities that lead to happiness there you go there you go and there you go that is we just did a inside joke and a my big fat greek wedding reference there you go well there you go Uh, listeners have a fantastic week and fall let us know your favorite and, fall things. Or if you are one of those people who just really doesn't like fall, you know what? You can share that too. You can say, guys, you're annoying me with all of your happiness and here's why fall is hard for me. And maybe we can address that too. Also, if you have any other thoughts on this or any other podcast, feel free to let us know. Yes, absolutely. We love to hear from people. We love comments. Um even, or I, I want to say, I don't want to say especially, but even if people disagree with us, because people, like, people wouldn't be people if we all agreed at the same time. And everybody knows, based on especially our country right now, that nobody agrees on the same thing. No. So trust us, we understand that maybe you're not the biggest fall fan, and that you do find me annoying. And I know that I find myself annoying sometimes, so you won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> so seriously, um, we'd love feedback from you, and we're so happy and grateful that you're listening, and happy fall season um end of september and early october and um oh also yeah. another announcement we are going back through some of the previous podcasts and if we mentioned things that we enjoy using we are adding links for you so that you can find things that we've mentioned in other podcasts and if you click through our links a portion of the proceeds does go to support us as a podcast and help us bring you more great content So if you are looking for something we mentioned, like maybe in one of those books episodes or like one of those de-stressing mental health episodes, check out um, our show notes or our Facebook page and we have awesome links for you guys. Nothing that we are being paid to particularly pick and throw at you. It's all the things that we choose. So we're not giving you false Mm -hmm. recommendations, but if you click through our links. You are helping to not only get yourself something amazing that we recommend, but to support us as well. And who knows, um, you know, at some point it would be kind of cool to do like a live stream show or, you know, have some cool Saviophiles gear. So that's just some stuff that like, I mean, I envision in the future and we got a lot of great stuff coming up. We will have so many more awesome episodes for you this fall because fall is great. Oh, and by the way, guys, I am literally 50-50 right, left, brain. Oh, yes. She was exactly 50-50. I was 53 leaning towards right. I took the test and I immediately texted Chelsea and said, look at this. And I took a screenshot, 50-50. So we'd love to know what you are. Yes, please tell us. And if you have any topics that you'd like us to discuss, even if say you're not a fall person but you'd really like to know um some of our favorite breweries wineries or distilleries that we've been to we will do a podcast for you because i happen to like all of those things any time of the year i feel like this episode should be called kayla's favorite things <laughs> I, yes no i mean i'm not gonna actually no. call it that but it seems like it's turned into like i love this and i love this oh i could go on we can do an actual kayla's favorite things episode sometime I don't know that that would be as appealing to our audience, but sure. Perhaps near the Christmas season. Okay. And I can talk about how I hate the fact that my favorite thing is the song is played as a Christmas song. (laughs) It's a good song. It's just not for Christmas. Exactly. Thank you. (laughs) All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Have a great fall 
great week and you guys are awesome yes you are great you're wicked cool (laughs) bye guys bye thanks for enjoying all the fall things with us this week on the sapio files as always, if you would like to reach us, you can find us at sapiofilespodcast at gmail.com, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube at The Sapio Files, or on any app that you use to listen to this podcast. Have an amazing week, enjoy the fall, and stay curious.